So let's look at the British Arabic colonial structures and the modern world. This is so important because if you don't understand what is going on, you will be so happy to go from King's College or Nature with brilliant children. You will be so happy to go to Colorado for a white man to give you a placard so that you will tell yourself you're doing well. It's about time that we begin to see ourselves as equals and not wait for anyone with blonde hair, blue eye to make you feel any kind of way. Or for you to take pitch and think, oh, if they're my friend, then I'll become somebody. To them, you are nobody and you will remain nobody. Colonialism is a parasitic relationship. So we know that the colonial structures and the modern world civilization are incompatible. Colonial structures do not allow democracy to reign. They don't. Neither did they allow justice, equity, or fairness. These are the things that were intentionally put in place to cause division and chaos among ethnic communities and indigenous nations. We see it everywhere. Their children are speaking about it. We have enough information now for us to be making informed decisions. It's just that some people don't want to know. Oh, let me go and sleep. Oh, finish this meeting. Let me go and read that later. Man, who knew God? Let me go and meet my pastor and come back. Who knew me? These structures we are putting in place with the aim of stealing our resources and calling it commonwealth. Somebody will come from where they are, <laughs> come to your house, steal your wife and your children, sleep with your wife and sleep with all your daughters and say, ha, ah, it's commonwealth that we're sharing. Meanwhile, his own is reserved and preserved for them. They have done this long enough. Created mass poverty, cause you to go on economic exile. So do not believe that while you're sitting in your mansion in Sugarland that you're doing well. You've been kicked out of your land and now for you to go home, you have to hire security. <laughs> or you, maybe you will hide. You start dressing tata. They will not see you in that car that you want to show off. Turned you into the lowest class citizen in the world. No respect for any black person in the whole world because you, 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 you and me are not willing to do the work. They put these structures in place so they can perpetuate mass murder because that's what they do. And the ones they kill us, guess what? Mm. Their sisters and brothers will develop NGO and show up to come and rescue the poor, hungry African children. They will never ask who did this, who caused the African children to be hungry. No, it's not their job. Their job is to come on TV, make you feel bad so that you can donate money. They will pay their CEOs thousands and thousands of dollars, and then they will go and buy uh, uh, corn flour and put water in it and be pouring it in a container for your kids. And you'll be thanking God for what the white men have done for you. They put all these structures in place so that while we are dying, you and will be planning, running around. Oh, ICC court, let's arrest them. Meanwhile, the Hana Chief arrest don't even recognize them. <laughs> in the ICC, they will sit in their Switzerland office uh, trying to arrest nobody because they are playing us. So that you, the Mumu, you will sit there and say, Oh, ICC is going to arrest Putin. He say, Yes, ICC is working, my dear. That UN structure, you don't even have a place in UN structure. Is there any African country that have a, a, a position in uh, UN uh, Security Council? No, you're not even invited. Yeah, maybe to clean the floor. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot that one. <laughs> yeah. I forgot my sister. So, Hane Manya Bakra Brakataba. They will say, Oh, we are giving these people uh, uh, aid. And then we are sanctioning them too. Yeah. We're gonna give them $23 billion aid and then we sanction them. Since when do we start using money to sanction people that we are giving aids? Hmm? English word, of course, not Ozimoron, the word that tend to counteract each other. And I was trying the English. They will sit around and watch Biafra to happen. They will sit around and watch Kosovo to happen, Cambodia, Rwanda. Jewish Holocaust, this is, the, this is their job. The smart people that are supposed to be ruling this world. And while all of these things are going on, they are making money. They are making so much money that you cannot even imagine. 
they come to Nigeria and they steal all your resources because they have overweight, demented people in charge of your land. We are talking about the British Arabic colonial structures and the modern world. All available energies should be directed at dismantling all of these colonial structures so that you don't get offended when we tell you that why Jesus is not why Jesus is. Ah, I'm not here to talk about why Jesus. Let's talk about Jesus. No, these are the things that they use to brainwash your people. So that's why even when our children won the contest, they obviously won the children from CKC on each other kicked everybody out of the, the, the conference or whatever, the competition and won. But in order for you to get the gift, you have to go and get it from the same person you kicked there behind. Because he makes you feel good. As I'm speaking to you here in Houston, my people at Igbo Catholic are still using white Jesus as their structure for savior. So when I talk about it, you cannot tell me we cannot discuss it. I actually got the boldness and switched around to a black Jesus and they kicked me out of the forum. <laughs> but they finally put me back. <laughs> that is the depth of issues that we have. At least about all of these things, let's have an honest discussion and even negotiation to reduce this negative impact on our people. We have to begin that process. We know that different indigenous people have been protesting against them, but they are not enough because of distractions, disinformation, and misinformation. Some people have been fighting against all of this for so many years, but because you refuse to partake, you refuse and say, ah, I'm going to work, or let's go to sleep, I'm going to party tonight, or what's you know, my children are here, I'm doing well, when I go home, I'll manage and hire security, or what's one word, the other, Obasarag. Any ethnic nation, such as Fulanese, preferring to oppose such structures that we see them in Nigeria because what they did was literally hand Nigeria over to them. Brother Tony explained it very well. He says it's like getting an underage child and handing it to a full grown man and say, Here, one day you will marry and do as you wish to have. If they are allowed in the past when information was uh, scarce and we are very limited. There's no reason why we, we the intelligent people now should accept it today. It should be totally resisted. So when you are sent information and you don't want to read it because you're too tired or what are they talking about now? Okay, Abbasag one day. Because as we are speaking, some people are getting ready to go and apologize to Fulanese about the our people that they killed. <laughs> Instead of making an atonement to their God for what is happening to our land, they are going to make an atonement to Fulanese. And they are your leaders. And we are watching them. We are watching them. So people are hearing it now. A lot of people that wasn't responding to anything that we sent them, we sent that video. Hey, who's that? This and that. What? That's what happens when you're complacent of what is going on. You wake up one day, the likes of Iwanyamu, Ojo Zokano, and all the children, descendants of colonial uh, uh, Warren chiefs, they will sell you all out. We watch them use our resources to develop the northern side, give themselves irrigation in the name of bringing us agriculture. Yet my people are still sleeping. In fact, it's actually the slave trade, the colonialism, and the new colonialism. They are the ones that should be apologizing and begging the indigenous peoples for what they have done and still doing. We should have advocacy to stop discrimination against the Jews and the black people everywhere. Because everywhere we see our people, they are either in a forest somewhere or even in Brazil, they live in the ghetto. Even in America, they have their ghetto. No, I'm not, we have fifth world. They have their fifth world. You're in America, but you live in fifth world. Everywhere you go, our people are being mistreated because we are allowing them to use our resources against us. There should be an equal right for women and should be promoted all over the world. Thank God for people like our husbands, our family members who believe that women are assets. 
in their community. And we are assets. Indigenous peoples should be allowed to determine how they want to live their lives without any undue interference from anyone. So we are asking for complete decolonization. Complete. Complete. Like if I can, we should be removed from the soup. It's enough. Everyone originally came from somewhere, which is your indigenous land. The only person that we know that didn't come from anywhere are the marauding Fulanese looking for who to kill and destroy. Our ancestral lands, every one of them have some type of resources. So why are we greedy? Why are we envious? Why are we jealous? Why are we stealing? Why are, where is there chaos everywhere when the good Lord has given us enough? for everyone. Mass poverty and massacre were never God's intentions or plan for the world or humanity. This is the work of the enemy. This is the work of those benefiting from chaos because they create chaos somewhere, they come take your resources and they come and use it for themselves. But if you are smart enough where we've said isolate, right? Identify, uh, contain, and isolate. What is the word that we use? ICI. I, 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 I identify, Ident criminalize, and criminalize isolate. isolate. Yes. So if we begin to do that, we will get somewhere. We can no longer then be enjoying people that are stealing our resources. And when they have their annual year party, you go to it because you know it's your, it's your teacher's retirement that they are squandering right in front of you. We have to do better, if not for anything, for the sake of our future generation. Thank you.